Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing the second part of the Black Widow unboxing because today I have received another shipment of Black Widows from the Spider Room once again. So let's get that open. Once again, we have the uh, Spider-Room card if you'd like to order anything from here. I actually really like their selection. They have a nice um, section for basically any type of invertebrate that you'd like. And um, the last time we were here, we ordered a Menavodi Sling, a Heterosco Dramaculata, and a Latrodiometricus, Latrodiometricus Geometricus Juvenile. All three of which are doing very nicely, and I can show them at the end of the video. The Minivoti has grown amazingly. This time around, we have a Latrodectus Hesper Sling, Latrodectus Hasseltie Sling, and a Latrodectus Bishopi Juvenile. We will be going over all of them individually once we get them out of the box. You know, the reason I'm doing a second part of this is because, I don't know if any of you knew, but the first Black Widow unboxing video is actually the most viewed video on my channel as of right now. 20k views and counting. Okay, let's pull this one out. What are you? That's really small. Hesperus, that's what I assumed. That is so tiny. Those of you, for those who don't know, these will be staying, the little ones will be staying in their enclosures that they were shipped in until they're big enough because there's really no reason to move something that small into something any bigger. Same thing for this guy. This is, by the way, the most venomous species of Black Widow on the planet. If I can see the red back from the start. Look at that. I can already see its red back. And then the Latrodectus Bishopi is going to be a juvenile. It's somewhere in here. Whoa. That's cool. There's a molt in there. Nice. Alright, let's get a closer look at all these. Alright, let's look at this. The Latrodectus Bishopi. Course the hassle tie. So now that that unboxing is over, I think that it would be a perfect time to go over some facts about these creatures. Starting with my personal favorite of the bunch, the Bishopi. So the Bishopi is actually a threatened species of Black Widow from Florida and only Florida. It only exists in specific parts of Florida and is endemic to it. Um, it lives in palmetto bushes, which is interesting because I've noticed that a lot of Black Widows live under stuff in garbage, but they just kind of live like in between the leaves, and they make very interesting webs, which are characteristic of a Black Widow, but not necessarily typical Black Widow. So that's a fun little creature. Um, mine is not very large. I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger. Like, I saw Juvenile and was thinking it was going to be like an adult, or like sub-adult, close to adult. But this one's pretty small. I guess this one is technically juvenile. This one makes sense. 
Um, the Hesperus is way tinier than I thought it would be. You can see a little speck in there. And although the Hasseltie is small, you saw it in the video, it actually, it actually has a red back. You can see it's red back in the video, which is nice. So I think that one is a female. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I don't know anything about the Hesperus yet because it's way too tiny. But because I saw the red back on the red back, and I'm pretty sure that one's, the, the Hasseltie is a female, just in general. I think I have, at the very least, two females. Um, Hesperus, I don't know. But, um, that's interesting. The Hesperus is the Western Black Widow, which is basically the same exact thing as the Southern Black Widow, the Mactans, which I have right there in that cup. And it's, it's basically the same species, very, very similar. The Hesperus has differences in its juvenile stages and in its adult stages. But they're very similar. It's basically their version of the Mactans. Um, actually with this, the Hesperus, the Latrodectus Mactans, the Geometricus here, and the Mactans there. And in the past I've had Variolus. I have had one of every single species of Black Widow that lives in the United States. My Geometricus, though, is actually newly molted adult. It molted probably yesterday. I just noticed it in there. I don't know if it's actually a Geometricus, because when I bought it, it was sold to me as a Geometricus. The tube that I got it in said Geometricus, but it looks identical to my Mactans. Jet black, nothing different about the uh, um, hourglass. Which, if you don't know what a black widow, a brown widow is supposed to look like, I can put a picture here. Obviously, if you were to see mine, which I can show at the end of the video, which I will, it looks nothing like it. However, the only way I know that there is <clears throat> a black morph of the brown widow. However, the only way for me to truly know if this is a brown widow or not is if it lays an egg sac, because brown widow egg sacs have, like, spikes on them. So, if it lays an egg sac, then I'll know if it's a Mactans or not, because if it lays a circular smooth one, it's a Mactans, and I have not had Geometricus, which technically isn't even native to the United States, so I still would have had every single you know, USA species. Um, but if it lays a spiky one, it's just the black morph. And I'm really hoping it lays a spiky one, because I don't want to have to buy another Geometricus, quote-unquote. But, you know, I can show the Minivoti right now, actually. Um, it grew substantially. If you look back, it's been four months, so this makes sense. But if you look back to the video that it was in prior, you'll see a tremendous change. I've upgraded its enclosure as well. However, we can see it. Look at that. Minivoti, or the Malagasy Black Widow, is native to and only lives in Madagascar. Hence the name Malagasy. And this is just a beautiful Black Widow. I am very happy to have this one. I think my favorite Black Widow is the Latrodectus elegans or the Tradesum Gettitus, but um, I don't have either of those. I do have someone who thinks that they'll have some um, later in the year, but that's not until later in the year, of course. So... Um, every single species that I have here is more potent than the Mactans, um, except for maybe the Hesperus. I think they're around equal, or the Hesperus is a little bit less. Um, I know the Variolus, Lachetix Variolus, is definitely less than the Mactans. Bishopi is the most toxic in the United States, so that one's, that's just, that's, that's that. The Geometricus, I think, is either more toxic or slightly less toxic than the Red Widow, but it's not native, so it doesn't count. And then, of course, the, you know, we all know how the Southern Black Widow fares. Um, there we go. Ooh, fell. I'm very happy that I got a female Minivoti, because obviously, as you know, the males are boring for lack of a better term. Not that I wouldn't be happy, because I'd still have the species. It would just wouldn't be the colorations that I want. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. It fell off my hand. I'm trying to coax it. 
back onto a stick. Oh, perfect. I think we can do that. Just so it doesn't feel threatened. And it will walk onto it easier. The redback spider, for those of you who know, or don't know rather, is the most toxic widow species by far. I think my calculations put it at 50 times more toxic <clears throat> than the southern widow. 50 times, okay? That is a venomous spider. <laughs> there have been no deaths since the 70s, but that's because anti-venom exists, or anti-venin, which is the technical term. Um, you can use either, though. Um, so I don't know if I'll be handling that one. Um, it's still such a pretty spider, just look at that. There's a red band that's on the other side of its abdomen, on the side that faces its cephalothorax, but um, it's a bit hard to show because of the way you know, it walks or whatever. Now, generally speaking, it's not a smart idea to handle venomous things. However, um, I'm not going to be that guy that tells you, you know, you should never handle things that are venomous. Don't do it ever. Stop that, you fucking stupid... Which, they're, they're basically correct, but I'm not going to tell you that. Mainly just because I don't condone it, but I don't not condone it. If you buy a creature that is venomous and you want to hold it, go ahead, hold it. I, I really don't care, but what I will say is that you should be content with the consequences if it were to bite you. I am content with the consequences if this thing were to bite me. Which would be either I'd have a really bad day, I'd have a really, really bad day, or I would die. Or nothing would happen because it might dry bite. But, um, I am content with all of those things, which is why I own them. If you are not really content with it, then you should never hold them. And if you are really not content with them, you should just not get them at all. I, I genuinely think that don't get something that you are just not prepared for. If you're gonna get something, like in, in the future when I am more experienced, I wanna get like a, fen a Fenutria, which is the uh, Brazilian wandering spider. And when I get into reptiles, which I plan on doing, specifically snakes, when I'm really advanced with that, I wanna get a pygmy rattlesnake and an African bush viper or a squamagara bush viper, which are both far more venomous than any spider could be. Maybe not the pygmy rattlesnake, but uh, the, the squamagara definitely. And you gotta be content with the consequences if you want to uh, have those creatures. Or at the very least, you should um, not be mad when they bite you. You gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, just don't get them. It's that simple. I definitely know what I'm doing with these guys. I've had them for a couple years. Um, I know their movements. I know what they do. I know what they don't like. I know what they do like. Um, I just all around know how to care for them, which is why I'm so comfortable holding them. If you notice, there's no fear in my voice. There's no fear in my body. It's just like another spider, really. I don't have any, and honestly, I have more fear of holding a tarantula that is completely harmless because the initial bite would hurt more. Not even the effects after the bite, just the initial bite would hurt more from one of those guys than this one. And I think I'm content with holding it for now, so I'll put it back. It keeps falling off my arm. I don't know why. I don't want to hurt it, so I'm going to put it back in its enclosure. But yeah. Yeah, I am completely comfortable around them, and so it probably is not going to bite me. But that doesn't mean it never will. There might be a day, one day, where I do something wrong and it bites me. And then I'll have to deal with the consequences. So, once again, I am by no means saying that you should never get these spiders. But if you do, or any other venomous creature, be on the alert. Know what you're doing, and be content with the consequences when eventually the day comes that you make a mistake. It'll happen to me one day too. I am very certain that the reason that I die is because one day one of my creatures is gonna bite me and I'm gonna die. That's probably what's gonna happen. It won't happen for a while because I'm not gonna have something that deadly for a while, but who knows, 30, 40, 
50. It's gonna happen eventually. On to more positive topics, let's talk about the other creatures that I bought the last time and do updates on them. Specifically, we already did the Minavodi, but um, I should probably show the Geometricus and explain my issues with it, and then the Heteroscodra, and then explain not my issues, but what's been up with that. So let's do it. You know, as a side note, I actually noticed that they uh, shipped the Widows this time. With it, it didn't have all that like straw junk that was in the Aminavodi one. If you saw that video, so that's nice. I like that. That's good because I can actually see the spider and it wasn't like cluttering up everything. Um, they'll be eating mealworms, by the way. I have a bunch of um, I had mealworms that I got back actually when I made my first spider video like a while ago, um, and uh, they grew up into beetles. The beetles are all dead, but they made it, and there's a bunch of new baby mealworms in there. The mealworms are too small for anything else, but they're just big enough for, you know, 1 16 inch, 1 16th of an inch black widow babies, so that's good. So here's the Geometricus in question. I don't know why I quoted in question, but um, I, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll do the like that so you can see. Hold on. So here it is. There's its old skin right there. So this is a freshly molted adult, but um, uh, notice how it's not brown at all. Like, it's, it's completely jet black. Um, you can't see its um, hourglass, but if you could, there's nothing special about it. It looks identical to a Black Widow in, there's just like the MAC tans in every way. So, I don't know if they made a mistake or not. I hope they didn't, but this is most likely not a Geometricus, but I suppose we'll have to find out whenever it lays an egg sac. Um, it won't be fertile, but Black Widows can lay infertile egg sacs. Um, like the, the moths, they'll just get rid of all their eggs. Um, so if it's spiky, then it's good, and if it's not spiky, then, uh, well, we have another Mac Tan, then I'll have three, because I have one adult, and then one, um, that I just kind of found, but uh, yeah, this is probably the container it will spend the rest of its life in because it's an adult. Eh, Black widows don't need that much space. <clears throat> but uh, on to the other one. So the other species that I got from that previous video was this Heteroscodra maculata, which is not the same as my previous Heteroscodra maculata, which guess what? Isn't an OBT, which is what you would have assumed had you watched the video when I got it. Why did I think it was an OBT? Well, because it was sold to me as such. Little Aiden did not know that the Heteroscodra Maculata had existed when he bought what he thought was an OBT. So, of course, he buys it thinking that it's an OBT and just that juvenile OBTs must be gray, right? No, they're not. They're actually orange. So Aiden buys a second Heteroscodra Maculata, assuming that the first one he bought was actually an OBT, until he realizes that they're both Heteroscodra Maculatas, and now he has two of them. And so, because of this, he gets a third spider, which is an actual OBT. You guys have never seen the OBT, because I've never made a video on it. He forgot. Aiden forgot. I am he, because I am Aiden, and I forgot. So if you'd like to see that video, here is the 30 second chopped down version, because Aiden's too lazy to make a video about it. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, for those of you who don't know, I got a real OBT. Yeah. Look at him. It's cool, right? His butt is in there. Looks a lot less orange on camera, but in person, it's very orange. I've seen him out. I gave him some roaches. It looks like the opening. I don't know if you'll be able to see him in here, but hopefully, maybe. That's cool. I got this plus the spider, which is basically an adult for like 70 bucks, so that's cool. But back to the other parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. so that's a funny story. Um, I would have had two spiders had I thought to myself, well, I would have had two spiders if I would have known it was a Heteroscodra, a Heteroscodra, and not bought it. Because then I would have bought an actual Heteroscodra the next time when I saw this one on sale. Or, I would have bought it, and then not bought the second Heteroscodra, and then bought that OBT. 
I probably would have never bought a heteroscodra though, had it been an actual OBT. Actually, that's probably true. I probably would have got it anyway. But, you know, the reason that I wanted to show it off is actually molted since then. It's molted once, which is good. Um, the other one has not molted. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't see it eat. This one's doing much better than that one. And that one is in an arboreal setup. I actually got it from Tarantula Cribs. So, I, I, it, it's, it doesn't web up much. It's gotten significantly, like, there's something wrong with it. So, I hope it survives. I feed it. I, I give it water. I, I don't know why this one is good, but that one isn't. This one was wild caught with missing two legs, and it's doing miles better than that one. And that one is in the same conditions and has the same care that I give it as this one. <clears throat> So I think it might be something wrong with the spider, or maybe I'm just dumb. But hopefully I am able to make it pull through and do just as well as this one. Um, regardless of how well it does and how beautiful it looks, I will be selling. I will be selling one of them at some point, because I really don't want two. Um, not that there's anything wrong with having two. I just, why would I use up that space for the same species when I could have, like, more of different species you know but um the spider has gotten much bigger i don't know if you can really see it it's a bit hard to tell you'll probably be able to see better if i turn it this way but um it's webbed up very nicely as you can see all over the enclosure so that's nice it has a little hide hideaway hideaway at the bottom but um this is a really cool species it's actually um it's a very pretty species. It's like white with gray. It's really nice when it's adult. <clears throat> um, I might be able to breed them if I have a male and female. Um, then I could sell babies. Babies are not that expensive though. I don't really want a lot of babies. Nobody wants them because they're like really fast. I'm not going to breed them. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, <clears throat> I once again will be selling one of them. Um, honestly, I, I'm not the one to want something for, like, the entirety of its life when it comes to spiders. Um, when all of my things become adults, I'll probably just sell them and then buy babies of something else. <clears throat> that way, I can have, I can, like, cycle around, because I don't have a lot of space, so if I want five other different species. I'm not going to get five other different animals in addition to what I already have. The only reason I have three more species that I got today is because they're all black widows. They take up like negative space and they eat once a week and what they eat is like that small. A sling of a tarantula that you buy off the internet is bigger than those guys when they're adults. So, you know, the tarantulas are just much larger. There's also not many that I'd really want. Carabina Versicolor, Brazilian Jewel, um, her, 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 that's what it is. Golden Blue Lake. You have, like, a Cobalt Blue. One of them Earth Tigers that look cool. Um, there's a couple species. Um, but, oh, Salmopius Romania. But, um... I'm not going to be getting them at the moment. I'm not too needing them right now. So that'd be good. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, that's how this one's been doing. It's doing very nicely. Very happy about that. They're extremely fast and I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Okay, I don't want to say that. I really do like them. I just don't. I don't like that they're so fast. I can't hold them. Not that I really care about that. Like I hold them sometimes. But I'm never going to hold this thing. Like, I am never going to hold this thing. Because if I try, it's going to be somewhere else. Gone. Like that. I've already had three times that it happened. Where just like, gone. I'm like, God, fuck it. And then I go find it. So, it's, it doesn't happen very often though. And I've only had it with this species. This is the only species that's tried to run away. Which makes perfect sense. Because... It's the fastest tarantula alive, and it's a bit skittish by nature. Not aggressive, just skittish. But you get the idea, I hope at least. Um, cool species, really nice, doing nicely, like it a lot. Um, 
but I think that that's basically everything I wanted to say. We got six, we have six species um, currently, right? Hesperus, Mactans, Geometricus, maybe, um, Bishopi, Hasseltai, Menavodi. And then in the past, I've had Variolus. So seven species out of the, like, 30-something that exist that I want to have at some point. Latrodectus, that being, that's great. At some point, I need to get a recluse species, literally any of them. I hopefully, um, what's that species called? Uh, Similia, Similia, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna be one of those guys. Oh, I don't know, here it is, it's like a mouthful. Blah, blah, blah. Loxicelles, Similia, That's, that looks like how it's pronounced. It's a really nice species of um, recluse. But um, every single time I've seen it, I'm like, that costs more than my order. I don't, I don't wanna buy that. I also need a centipede. I need a scolopendra diahani. Need it. Could have bought one with this order. There was one for like 50 bucks, and it was a really pretty one. However, I'm not gonna buy that right now. Why? Not not dealing with that. <laughs> not dealing with the centipede with this thing on my arm. Not not a chance. That's not happening. Yeah, I, I got a new cast. Here it is. I have all my signatures. It's nice. But with that being said, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please get this one to 20k views too. Bye. I'm practicing crappy thumbnail shots. I need people to click on this video for my um, enjoyment. Please watch this video. Please. Goodbye.